How to get music on your iPod from the internet. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. We're going to show you how to get music onto your iPod from an online store, such as the iTunes Music Store. You can buy single tracks or whole albums. Think of it as like a huge record store with no queue at the checkout. This information is relevant for both PC and Mac computers. Step one, you will need an iPod, an iPod to USB cable, a computer with an internet connection, and a credit card or debit card to make an online payment. Step two, getting started. If you haven't already set up your iPod and installed iTunes onto your computer, refer to Video Jug, how to get started with your iPod for a detailed instruction. Step three, set up an account. In the iTunes library list, click on the iTunes store icon. This will automatically take you to the iTunes store website. Click on the sign in button in the top right hand corner and follow the instructions to set up your account. You'll need to enter your credit card details to do this. Step four, shop. You can search for tracks by entering the name of the track or the artist that you want in the search box. Or you can look at the latest offers and releases advertised in the iTunes store. Once you've found the tune you want, double click on it to hear a preview of the track. This way, you can check that it's really the one you're after before you buy it. If you want it, click the buy song button. If you decide you want the whole album, click buy album. You will then be asked for your account details. Enter them in the correct boxes and click buy to begin your download. In the library list under iTunes store, click on downloads to see the progress of your downloaded music. If you have a broadband connection, it shouldn't take long. Click on Purchased Music under iTunes Store in the library list. You will now see a list of your downloaded songs. This means you can keep track of all the songs you've bought from iTunes. Step 5. Alternative Sources There are many internet sites where you can find legal downloads, too many to list here. Some you will pay for, others may be free. A quick internet search will direct you. Step 6. Transfer to iPod To get your new songs on your iPod, plug the smaller end of the iPod cable, which is the USB connector, into the USB port on your computer. This can be identified by the USB logo. Plug the other end of the cable, which is called the dock connector, into the base of your iPod. A do not disconnect message will show up on the iPod screen, and your iPod icon will appear in the library list in iTunes. Step 7. Automatic updating by default, iTunes will automatically start transferring the tracks from the computer to your iPod. This is called synchronising. It is important that you do not disconnect the iPod while the transfer is happening. When the iPod has finished the transfer, the iTunes window will state, iPod update is complete. Click the eject button next to the iPod icon. Wait for the iPod screen to light up, then disconnect. Whenever you add or remove songs from iTunes, your iPod will automatically be updated the next time you connect it to your computer. Step 8. Manual updating. If you do not want iTunes to automatically update your iPod, you can change the settings to manually update. To manually update, open iTunes and connect your iPod to the computer. Click on the iPod icon in the library list. The main display will change to your iPod summary. Click on the music tab at the top of the display panel. Uncheck the sync music box. Now, to update your iPod, simply drag and drop your wanted tracks onto your iPod icon. Done. Watch our other iPod video jugs for more ways to use your iPod.